banana. Welcome, I am Lauren from Hot for Food. I'm cooking from another vegan cookbook this week. It's Voila Vegan by Amanda Bankert. She is a French pastry chef and owns a bakery in Paris called Bone Shaker. I myself have never been, but it looks incredible and I wish I knew about it when I went to Paris. Uh, I think it was open when I was there. But anyways, Paris is actually an amazing city for vegan eats. I have a vlog of when I went in 2018 that you can watch on my personal YouTube channel, Lauren in Real Life. But today let's focus on Amanda's new book, Voila Vegan. It is full of incredible French pastries and desserts. I'm going to make today the banana tarte tatin French toast. So it's basically like a French toast casserole with bananas on the bottom that are all caramelized with a caramel sauce. And then you take white bread soaked in a milk mixture and layer that on top. This is actually in the dessert for breakfast chapter, the first chapter of the book, and I totally approve of dessert for breakfast. You'll find macarons in here, candied orange peel, pavlova, all kinds of interesting things, straight up cookies and cakes, and all the photography is so gorgeous. These are baked caramel apple s'mores. Ooh, look really cool. Homemade marshmallows in here too. I really wanna try those. But let's get on with our banana tart tatin French toast. So you'll preheat your oven to 350 Fahrenheit to start and then grease your baking dish with vegan butter very generously like this. Once that's coated, set aside. Now it's optional to use two very ripe bananas. Mine weren't very, very ripe, but ripe enough that I could mash them pretty soft without any lumps. So you do that first and then to this you add non-dairy milk chia seeds and mine are black chia seeds which I hope doesn't ruin the final look but if you have white whole chia seeds that would be better I think cornstarch vanilla extract and ground cinnamon and a little bit of sea salt and then whisk this vigorously until it's well combined throw it in the fridge for about 10 to 20 minutes that will let the chia seeds gel up now heat a pan over medium heat it's best to use a non-stick I ended up using a cast iron because I just always use my cast iron it calls for coconut oil but I used vegan butter once that was melted I added my firm bananas that I sliced in half. I had to do this in two batches as they didn't all fit. And it says two minutes per side, but mine was a little longer, more like four to six minutes for the first batch, and then two to three minutes for the second batch as the cast iron got hotter, but you want them to be nice and golden and caramelized. They're not supposed to break or they shouldn't break ideally, but mine did. I don't think it matters because you're just layering these in the bottom of that greased up dish. And once everything's baked, I don't think you'll be able to tell the difference. Once you take the bananas out, keep the pan over medium heat and add brown sugar, water, and maple syrup, and then stir this around as it thickens for just two to three minutes or so. You don't want it to turn into a hard caramel. And then pour this over top of the bananas and spread it out evenly. Now you're gonna take plain white sliced bread. I have eight slices here and I cut them into strips about every two inches or in thirds and then soak the pieces of bread just quickly in the milk chia mixture until it's just soaked through and then layer these over top of the banana slices, slightly overlapping so that there's no gaps. Pour any remaining milk mixture over the top and then break up two tablespoons of butter on top of the whole casserole. So you bake it for 35 minutes. I actually did 40 because I wasn't sure the top was looking a little liquidy to me. Then you let it rest on a wire rack for 15 minutes it says and then the moment of truth, you turn it out by putting your platter or tray on top and then flipping it. I was very nervous to do this, but it came out very easily after running a knife around the edge. Oh, and then I hit it with the handle of the baking pan. Anyway, I didn't totally ruin it. I salvaged it. It looks delicious, nice and caramelized on top. I don't think my layers are as distinguished as her picture in the cookbook, but I topped it with vanilla ice cream and some more maple syrup, and I can't wait to dig in. Ooh. Now obviously you have to like bananas to make this recipe. <laughs> I think the ice cream is essential. I guess you could also do whipped cream. Mmm. Oh, it's actually nice and fluffy. It's not too liquidy. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. You can't see my chia seeds because I flipped it, which is good. Because those are all at the bottom now. Yeah, this is pretty, 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 pretty good. Mmm, very easy to eat. All right, I am allowed to share this recipe on hotforfoodblog.com from the book Voila Vegan. So click the link below to get this recipe, try it yourself. It's really good. The sweetness is balanced. 
It's wonderful. So thank you, chef and author Amanda Bankert, for letting me share this recipe. Pick up Voila Vegan if you want some amazing, incredible vegan dessert recipes to add to your library and your arsenal. Of course, I will be back again. I usually post on Wednesdays. I've been doing every other Wednesday mostly. And I look forward to seeing your version of this if you make it. Remember to share on Instagram, at Hopper Food. I'm on TikTok too, at Hopper Food Blog. Bye.